All right, here. We're having a great time. You should join us live here Friday, uh, DJ in the morning. We are well into the afternoon by now. This is one of the longest streams we've ever had. We're five hours in. And, uh, you know, I had really good time watching the first episode of this NPC D&D from Viva La Dirt League. Uh, slightly different than what I'm uh, usually watching here on the morning show. But they, 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 they kind of hooked me into this. Uh, I was very much attached to Dungeons & Dragons when I was a child. My dad, we'd go to a hobby store and he would uh, get miniatures and I'd paint them for him. And then afterwards, I'd basically uh, watch him play other very similar D&D type games uh, on his Apple IIe, <laughs> green on green. Uh, and in and, and those days, I believe the game he played, which was his jam, was Wizardry. And my dad had me sit... <laughs> My dad had me sit on a drafting table with with drafting paper and he would, you know, push the W to space up one and then I'd have to draw the two walls on the grid paper and I'd basically be his uh, map maker and I'd map out every single le level of that game. <laughs> he would never let me sit down and play the actual game. <laughs> Right. And like, if I messed up sketch, he would be on my ass about it. So like, I, there was so much pressure. Imagine like a very small DG child trying to create the perfect map for his father. He'd be like, this is what my dad would give me like instructions. He'd be like, one square north, open side to the left, door to the north like you know like open side to the to the west enclosed wall to the east like like and trap like you know, like i had to draw all these i had legend i had a legend right i was literally a cartographer for my father for the beginning two to three i was i think it was like five years old i started this is little kid sitting on a drafting board and he would tell me and if i messed up oh my god it was like the end of the world and then on the weekend he'd take me to this place called aladdin Aladdin's castle and at Aladdin's castle it was like old school arcade right in those days it was brand new and I'd go there and I'd play games like Dragon's Lair and Tron and and um oh my god what other games I mean like we're talking so old school Spy Hunter uh you know like like amazing and then we go over after the arcade we go over across to the hobby store and then we buy more Dungeons and Dragons miniatures he had a group that he played Dungeons and Dragons with and then the 80s let me remind you in the 80s like what happened was is the 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 media they classified Dungeons and Dragons as being pagan and evil and against Christians and you know like so my dad <laughs> he didn't give a shit my dad's like a Buddhist, man. And my dad, he was like, he would just go, he'd buy the dragon, uh, Dungeons and Dragons kits, and he'd bring them home, and he'd stock them downstairs in the basement. And he had his, like, man cave. And I always respected that about my dad. Loved to put models together. So this brings back some really good nostalgia for me. We're going to watch episode two here, and I really like what they're doing. So let's watch, um, and hopefully they do, like, a recap. So let's let's go and see how this goes. There's a recent breakthrough he's made wherein he requires your expertise to proceed further. Transform onto a frog. Yeah, it's probably for the best that I'm oh, doing Jesus. this. Oh, you know, Jesus. Muscles like this, much better than... Yeah, okay. Those uh, pieces of straw that you call arms. <laughs> wow! Yeah, there, there, was, there, wasn't a, there wasn't a big bag of something heavy. Ben's name, character is awesome. Oh, so I'm noticing a pen. Yeah, there's a pen going Things on here. Things are going missing. Things are going missing. As soon as you grab it, and your hand closes around the Satsuma-sized glass orb. He was awesome. Desk. He was awesome. A sudden pulse of energy is released from it. You feel every muscle in your body tense up and paralyze. Oh, oh shit. Walks calmly over and looks in your paralyzed eyes. I feel like I've been too. Oh. I wondered if I might have been pushing my luck by revealing to you what the nature of my research was. I definitely thought I'd gone too far by telling you it had to be entered in too willingly. But then I, but then I have always underestimated the strength of your arrogance. How could I, High Sorcerer Baradun, ever be in danger from the lowly Master Leothil? Why should I, the most powerful man in all of Azarim, ever need to be careful when touching random items in the laboratory of the head of arcane research? What hope do any of my lowly colleagues ever have of outsmarting me, the youngest High Sorcerer ever elected by the Order of the Weave? But for once, I'm grateful for your arrogance. <laughs> because it's led you willingly into my ritual. In a matter of minutes, you'll be as weak to the world as I know to be in your mind. <gasps> oh, oh, shit. Fuck. 
Okay, now listen. <laughs> listen. This character that that uh, Alex has picked here, Minutes, or Adam, so the isn't it Adam? Be in your mind. Hold on a second. <gasps> okay, okay. So on the last episode, let me catch you up. He he touched an orb of sorts. It's like a trap, and and this younger apprentice wants to take over. It's Adam, right? Am I correct on this? I'm I'm, I'm learning. And he, and, he, and he picks a character called Baron Dune, which is like a high sorcerer. Now, a lot of people got upset with me watching some Viva La Dirt League, um, a particular NPC that was a woodcutter. And Baron Dune comes up to the woodcutter and asks about the existence of the NPC. And the NPC starts to think it's about its own existence. And I, I was like, oh, man, I thought Baron Dune was a character, like a human player character in the game. But he didn't have a tag over his head. And people got really upset at me. They got angry. They said... Baron Dune is an NPC, DG, and now th th I can't fathom this because I guess I'm missing out on something. But it didn't, didn't, isn't Adam pick Baron Dune as his character in D and D, and thus make him a human player? I could be wrong. Anyway, let's keep going. Fuck! Whoa! You man. will be as pathetic as a normal ten-year-old should be. But I'm level twenty. <laughs> Not destroying um, entire armies of marauding orcs. Not impressing your way into the order with series of magical politics. Not taking the position of high sorcerer from those more worthy. Those who have spent their entire 500 year lives studying every aspect of the weave. And not doing all of that at only 20 years old. Just because of some freak reason, all of this power comes naturally to you. <laughs> can I, can I talk? Oh, nope, I'm oh, paralyzed. Oh, oh, oh. He's raising some good points. Oh, not yeah. anymore. This power shall not come naturally. Because Bear Dune is just naturally amazing. This kid apprentice, he is nothing. Like, this this kid apprentice could try as hard as he want and never even become close to Bear Dune. But it just comes natural. It just comes natural to Bear Dune. To you, you will be as weak as a little child again. And then I will finally kill you. And he throws your staff to the side. It clatters down next to the teleportation. Oh, he's circle. Welsh, Aether? And beneath... <laughs> And it clutters down beneath the lectern on which he keeps his primary struggle. <laughs> you. you shouldn't have turned him into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> multiple times. Probably multiple times every morning for the last few years. He walks, should have listened to him. He yeah. walks over to the corner of the chamber <laughs> and <laughs> uncovers a mechanical device. It's about 10 feet tall and 6 oh. feet wide. Oh. It looks like five legs of bamboo scaffolding holding up an inverted Tesla coil. Wires Kinky. and levers and embedded gemstones all over this contract. Oh. Kinky. Nicholas flies down and wraps himself around uh, as Math Master Lythel wheel wheels it over. <laughs> 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 he wheels it no over and he positions it above you, so the Tesla coil is above. Whatever you last cast, that meteor swamp. I hope it was a good memory for you. It'll be your last ever spell. Oh, it snap. Really good, actually. Yeah, it's great. He shoes Nicholas away and then flicks a lever on side. A necrotic lightning fires through your body. Necrotic You've not felt way. pain like this in a long time. But mixed in with the pain, the familiar comforting warmth of healing radiance, this, this device is actively <laughs> preventing you from dying. As it, oh. sucks, as it oh. damages you, but also heals you at the same time, oh. sucking your abilities from your body. <laughs> one by one, you forget all of your spells. Extreme you forget the world shattering bad. powerful wish. It's about you out of gameplay. You forget how to teleport. You forget how to pot away. Oh, Jesus. You forget how to create walls of stone from nothing. Uh-oh. You forget how to create conjuring great illusions. <laughs> Don't make it sick. <laughs> <laughs> Just be in pain. Just don't... <laughs> You're ruining this for me, you know. <laughs> oh, now it's just weird. Do I forget how to turn people into frogs? <laughs> you forget how to tran transmutation. Oh, that's the worst. The that's the worst. For someone who's paralyzed, he's really quite late. Like, like, remember polymorph. Damn it! Oh, damn it. Can I get out of this? Oh, damn it. Bob. Oh. Yeah, right. You're making your way towards town. Yes. Can you make a perception check for me, please? All right. The plot. Flicken. The oh. plot plickens. Will well, that do? Plus four. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. As you're walking along dirt, dirt road, uh, trees on either side, you hear a cracking of twigs off in the brush to the side, and about 20, 30 feet ahead of you, a large grey wolf steps out oh, onto the path. Shit. Uh, uh, it gets about halfway across the road and then turns and looks. Hello, Wolfie. How are you? Is this the end of Bob? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Bob runs just, away and we never see him again. <laughs> it just stands and stares at you. What do you stands. Do? Okay. I... Want to check if it's friendly? Make an animal handling check, please. Oh. 
So roll that d20 and add your animal handling modifier. Oh! Animal handling. He's going to tame it. 12 make it his plus own two. Pet. 14. 14. From its body language, it doesn't have its teeth bared. It doesn't have okay. its uh, tail tucked under to protect yep. itself. It doesn't have it out the back to show that it's aggressive, anything like that. It just seems to be curious. It's, you're, you're larger than it. I don't uh, know if I trust it's potentially it. Potentially a threat. Yeah. And you're not moving towards it. Are you friendly? About a minute or two goes by, and then it turns away and starts to walk into the forest on the other side. Huh. What a strange little encounter. I'm sure that won't have any effect on my future life. <laughs> I love Cardu. this character. After She's what feels favorite, like an hour this. of this torturous uh, electricity through your body, you feel the last morsel of your power is about to leave you when there's a loud slamming on the door. What? Quick as a flash, Master Leithil flicks off the machine and moves towards the door. Master Leithil, you all right? There's a sudden disturbance in the weather pattern of your tower, and Master Padrick sent us to check on you. I'm in here! I'm in here! Your head is swimming in pain and weakness, but you realize that seemingly this machine has interfered with the power of the orb, and you have control of your body back. <laughs> you also realize that you're less than 10 feet from your staff, Master Leithil's uh. spellbook, and his teleportation circle. And he's 30 feet away, speaking through the lab doors. There's a combination of things you Attention can do. Attention off of you. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Not saying I'm pushing you in a particular direction. Wait a minute. We're gonna put these things together. Staff, book, portal. Staff, book, portal. I pick up the book. I smash him over the head. <laughs> I snap my staff. I snap. <laughs> I, I take a bite out of Nicholas. <laughs> and you gain the pseudo dragon powers. Yeah, and then I jump out the window to my death. <laughs> Well, all right. Well, well the next <laughs> I'm not going to assume anything. I dive over to my staff and uh, attempt to pull it away. Right. Pull it right. away! All right. So mastering the uh, mastering the last remnants of energy that's stored within your staff, you conjure a portal, portal within the circle away. and you dive through. Your mind oh, is right. racing a mile. I also took the book, by the way. No, you did. You grab the book. You okay, grab the book okay, as well. All right. <laughs> you're going there. Oh, wait, the book. You grab a spell book. You grab your staff. You conjure a portal. Your mind races a mile a minute trying to think of a place that you're going to be safe. A place so low-key and insignificant that Master Lothar would never <laughs> think to look for you there. <laughs> you think of a, you're trying to think of a small, poxy little asshole of a place where nothing ever happens. Ah, suddenly you've got the perfect place. Hey, Rogue. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Does he land in the manure? Please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll a percentile die. Let's see. <laughs> Paradise is just going to smell like shit for the whole time. Uh, you can roll it if you want. 52. 52, there was a 50% chance you did. So 52 it's, it's, is just above. Manure is like, oh, this is, this is, oh, yeah. This is, so, this this is, is human species. Human species. <laughs> so I land right next to him, I'm like, oh, oh, no, no, oh. No, no, we'll, no, we'll get to that. Just one second. All right, All right so Bob, uh, you Sounds arrived like back in the, the, the village that you just left, uh, walking past the wooden sign that says, welcome to Honeywood. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you do? Yeah. Uh, I... <laughs> Do you make your way back to where you woke up? Um, yeah, yeah. I make yes. I make my way back and start searching for my gold. All right. So you make your way back to a, a, a river's edge, a yeah. lake's edge rather, and you see a fisherman in a hat who yeah. turns to you and says, "Morning." Nice day for fishing. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, Bailey. Uh, you also see a, a, a garlic farmer shoveling Bailey. shit outside his shop. <laughs> ah, God, this is um, so disgusting. You, that human you, shit. No, <laughs> leave me alone. Hey, give me a recap on your your story. You you've lost. What gold? Gold. Like gold. Yeah, 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 he's right. looking, he's, he's, he's just trying to He can't remember gold. what happened. Yeah, yeah, I came through that? town. Had yeah. a little bit too much to drink. One of Cape Cods and lost yeah. all my gold. So was it Honeywood we you were drinking? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You You've lost all your power. Investigation you're shoveling shit. You're shoveling shit. <laughs> you're not trying to find the gold. You're trying to find Ooh. the Honeywood. 19. We got some crazy yes. scenarios. Plus two, 21. So, Ooh. you find Ooh. the location where you were face down, still yep. your imprint perfectly in the mud. <laughs> That's uh, me. You also see, you also see, um, you recall with that, it, yes. with that check, you recall that last night you won this big bag of gold and you tried, when you got to the water's edge, you tried to like uh, consolidate it with your own p yeah. coin purse and it was just too much to fit into yeah, your right. coin purse. So you spent most of the evening just, just trying to skim your copper pieces over the lake to sit, hit the other side. <laughs> just so you go, Sounds and so like you know where you were sitting when you had do. the gold. Yeah, right. You go to that area and with a high enough investigation check, you can see you, you're pretty sure it should be in this area. Yeah. It's definitely not, but you okay. do see uh, tracks in the mud. Okay. You, I... see, you see tracks of uh, long-toed um, feet with seeming webbing between them. Ooh. Oh, oh okay. I follow those tracks. All right, they go right into the water. Into the lake. Oh, come on. What you going to the lake for? How am I meant to get this back? Uh. <laughs> as, you're, as, you're, as you're thinking this, uh, what do I do? What do I do? Suddenly, there's a ripping of fabric almost straight in oh. front of you. Baradun, you come splashing down oh, into the lake. 
Yes, <laughs> the lake, exactly where I meant to land. And the Can current you... state of that pond is like a bit yeah, 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 yeah. pretty, pretty gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Pretty, pretty it sounds like lizard folk. <laughs> can, you, can you make an athletics check, please, to swim to the shore? Without this drowning. Could, be, could this be the end of Veritas? <laughs> yeah, I, just, I drown. Measure one, and I drown right this now. Is just like, the first episode of D&D campaign is just like... 20, mother! Woo! Is it natural 20? With, uh... First of the campaign? Uh, athletics is minus one, so no. Nice, so 19. Oh, so you drown. So you, <laughs> you, you, you paddle to the other side, you paddle to the shore, you get out and you're covered in mud and uh, completely soaking wet. Um, hello, adventurer! You All notice, right. you notice right. that you have uh, your staff that you managed to escape with. You've got your arcade focus. You also managed to escape with your level one spells and text. So you are Thank back God. to being a level one sorcerer. No. Oh my God, he's only a level one sorcerer, dude. Like, what? Well, he's just not, dude. That would suck, man. That's like losing all your skill. Most people on the land would know who Baradun is, right? Yeah. Like he's famous, most, most he's like one of the most famous people on the land, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, you also uh, don't have the spell book. Oh. Is it in the lake? He's totally <laughs> impotent. To he's a, he's <laughs> an you impotent high sorcerer now. Through the portal, but now you do not have it. It's in the totally lake. unrespectable. Oh, I Back in the lake to look. So we're that's a bear dude that we all make know. A, make an all? investigation check with disadvantage. That means you roll twice okay. to the lower of the two numbers. Uh, 20 again. Wow. And two. <laughs> <laughs> so you <laughs> don't get yourself back in the lake. <laughs> 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 well, it's it's in the it's the it's two, so four. Four. You dunk your head under the water. <laughs> <laughs> you come back up again. <laughs> Not there. You, you try and cast water breathing water on yourself. Water breathing. Does not happen. You, you try. You He's try, literally going to die from this. Yourself on yourself. Just try and do something. You're, 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 you're not sure how to. You're not sure how normal people would investigate water for something yeah. underwater. You're, you're right like, there, mate. You know, you know a whole bunch of things. I feel better to about myself now. So actually, I think go. the way you look <laughs> underwater is you go. Baradun tries to drink. Baradun tries to drink the lake up. So like, drink the duck shit filled lake. All right. <laughs> so you're all you're all in Hollywood. Uh, just, uh, Bar Balin is just. Morden. Nice day for fishing. Right ended. next to Balin <laughs> fishing. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> oh yeah. There ain't no there ain't no hints. Just just telling you what's what you can so see. So it's not my turn now. It, it's, it's we're not in order. Okay. Okay. Order. We're okay. Well, can I try and get the fisherman to fish the lake to try and find stuff? Sure in the can. Lake? Uh, so you walk over to uh, yeah, Balin, make a. Hey mate. It. All right. Morning. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? <laughs> make a persuasion check. Sure. Please. Eight plus three. Uh, three. So that can be how it ends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Next time. 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 Next Balin, can you make a Come on, Balin, get that gold. Just roll a d20, I've get got the modifiers. Eight. Eight. Eight total. So he fishes in. About two minutes later. Oh! Oh. And he reels it in. And uh, attached to it is one of your smithing hammers. I knew it. Morden, nice day for fishing, ain't it? <laughs> no, I didn't say hammer, did I? I said gold. Try again. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, Balin! <laughs> I've been looking for that. Can you chuck it in, lad? Morning. Throw the hammer at you. <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw, please. Ah, uh, cut. Eighteen. All right, you've managed to dodge out of the way and catch it. Thank you, Balin. I've been looking for this hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so you get your, you get one of your hammers back. There are still multiple well, tools. Like <laughs> you know. Now yep. seeing that one of your hammers was taken, you now look for other things that were taken as well. You realise the helmet's not the only thing to have gone. A lot of your smithing tools are gone too. So a lot, of, lot of things are missing, are they? <laughs> a lot of things are missing, and things are getting a bit suspicious here. And I'm seeing webbed footprints around the place, and I'm thinking there's that's seeing drippy things. Ah, but I don't know. I've seen drippy things. <laughs> no, nope, I've seen them. You haven't done an investigation to see check. what's happened yet. I've would you like to? Drink. Would you like to see if there's clues? You're presuming a lot. Exactly. Would you like? Not the dungeon clues. master, right. Rowan. You're not the dungeon yeah, master. Make, it, make an investigation. Rowan's with your negative intelligence master. 
15, uh, 15. minus intelligence, which would be one. It's so 14. 14 isn't too bad. A little investigation. Um, <laughs> the first thing that uh, it doesn't, it's not necessarily linked, you don't think, but uh, you do notice that. Usually on a morning when you're setting up work, there's there's uh, all of the flies around that, for, that come up from the duck pond mm, lake. Mm. It's lots of moths and mosquitoes and all sorts of insects around the place. It's eerily quiet of insects. Uh, yeah. Lizard folk. <laughs> so, much so, 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 so much so that it catches your eye. I wouldn't even like stay there. I wouldn't even stay there right now. Left, right, and center. I'm not having to swat away <laughs> flies. And so therefore, there must be a sea monster eating <laughs> flies. <laughs> Have you noticed there's no flies? Hang on a sec. What's the natural predator of flies? Frogs. Frogs. What does frog rhyme with? Cogs. Cogs. There are cogs in the local windmill. And you know what? <laughs> the local windmill owner is always talking about monsters and I've never seen any monsters. I can't see monster. There's a sea monster. There's a sea monster in the lake! A big, big toad. So do you, big so do you, do you say this big to you? What do you do? Toad. Right, what, um, do what does Baradun do? He's just had his yeah. powers ripped from him. Baradun. He's well, been, he's been thrust time. back to being as weak as he was when he was like... Yeah, dude, Baradun is not back in a... The temple of Calibre, listen, but listen Baradun cannot handle a fight with anything right now. Presume I can't portal anywhere. He has you to be try. careful. Can I try? He has Whoa! to be careful. Oh, yeah, right. Happens. Not Get even, out. Not, not even the, the, the feelings of it failing. Like, it's, it's just not. <laughs> I'm literally just going anymore. like this with yep. my staff. Why? Mark, you're so oh. covered in the dust coat, just looking very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're completely. You all right? <laughs> not so good. Are you the high sorcerer Baradun? Why, yes, I am. You are welcome in my presence. You may know me from the epic high level quest that you've done. Yeah. Where we <laughs> literally repair the fabric of space time. Yeah, yeah, remember it well. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. You seen any gold pouches lying around? I lost my winnings. I have seen a lot of gold. I am incredibly rich after all. Right, hand them over. There is more pressing things on the agenda than your bag of gold. Well, I am level me. one right now. Sorry, did I stutter? Hand it over. Fire Bear storm. Dude's gonna get his gold heisted, man. You go through your repertoire in your mind, like just just testing out the things that you can do. Mm -hmm. You you focus on uh, a piece of driftwood that's come up onto the shore, and you you try and transmute it. Mutation. Nothing. Can't do it. You try you, you you hold out and try and turn it into. He lost a, a all gold. his powers, Nothing. man. <laughs> you try and levitate it. Nothing. Hey, better do. I've noticed that you're shite. <laughs> you shite. Yes. Yes, I have noticed that too. I've lost a few of my powers. Just a couple. Yeah, aren't you meant to be the High Sorcerer? I am the High Sorcerer, thank you very much, and I'm very powerful, usually. Yeah, the High Sorcerer of being shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice, whoever you are. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Uh, this guy, uh, I like this guy. You try, and, you try and cover it in the illusion of a rock. Minor takes, illusion? Suddenly this, this piece of driftwood suddenly looks like a rock. Oh, uh, what? Wow! It's something, innit? Uh, well, I mean, it, it, it's something. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I feel like I could do Thank that. You. Uh. I'll do more powerful things <laughs> later on. I'm just holding back at the moment, you see. I, I don't want you guys okay. to think yeah, I'm too powerful yes. and blow your mind. Really convincing, mate. I'm sure you do. Uh, so, Balin at this point seems to have got some another... Oh, it must yeah, feel embarrassing got. for Bear it, Dune it pulls, to have lost all of his powers. <laughs> He pulls and pulls, yeah, and as he pulls, it, it seems to have attached to a very old and rotten looking wooden shield that comes up out of the water. Oh. Attached to which is a, a green frog arm. Oh, oh, oh. Long, hu human sized frog arm. And then followed by the bulbous eyes of a human sized frog man who looks at you and then pulls his shield off and back into the water. What was that? I think there's something on the like. I haven't seen that before. That's new. Yeah, not something you see every day. Is that part of Honeywood? I actually saw some weird webbed footprints. It might have been his. This is fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, where'd that guy go? Where did? <laughs> You're focused on your on your thing, uh, on your on your illusion, it's testing out the boundaries, and then you see a small ripple in the water next to you. Oh. As another one of these frogmen <laughs> burst out of the water, Multiple seemingly frogmen, leapt, man. Uh, no easily at ten feet in the air. <laughs> And as they're 
coming towards you on an angle, they drop a net. Meteor storm! <laughs> no! <laughs> nope, okay. You just point at the sky. <laughs> so it leaps across you. I need you all to roll initiative, please. Oh, shit. All of us? Yep. Oh, look at him. <laughs> look at the little frogman. Oh, I didn't even know how to do that. <laughs> all right, so. Oh, thank God, I rolled 16. 11, uh, 12. Oh, and all then right, there's so a plus you got a, Yes, plus your dexterity modifier. It's an initiative Ooh, check. Uh, uh, yeah, plus the 11. I'm just Ooh, 7. Faraday, got a total of? 16. 16. Uh, Bodger got a total of? 12. 12. Bob got a total of? 15. 15. And Greg got a total of? 7. 7. Oh. All right. Now I'm going to shift yeah, these out of the way. Greg. Roll for the baddies. Uh, that's Greg the garlic farmer. One. Ooh, that's a low one. And that's a real high one, even higher. Uh oh. So oh, we'll spaghetti. Uh oh, spaghetti. Uh oh, spaghetti. Oh, they're all oh, right. Great. So, yeah. great. we're great. in great. initiative great. order, great. meaning that something is happen happening, not necessarily combat, but it's something that it, for which time is important. So we go into yeah. a, a round by round situation rather than everyone talk at once. All right. So first up, round order, baddies number one, makes sense. They got the surprise on you, Baradun. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, nah, uh -oh. let's get back into some of this He's magic. Not do good at all. He, uh, he jumps out of the water and drops a net on you. It ah, hit. Right. It hit, so you are considered restrained. You take no damage from it, but you are restrained in a net. No! Oh, not a net! <sighs> Wait, I kind of knew that was going to happen. That was rope. very predictable. At <laughs> the same time, um, you are by the water's edge, so they're going to go for you too. Oh, yes, with a sneaking, that's going to hit. So another one leaps out of the water, <laughs> bounding oh, down with shit. a huge uh, splash and a net. This ain't looking too good. <laughs> this this oh, is not no. a big lake. How, how have these guys <laughs> stayed secret for a long time? <laughs> They're frogs, um, isn't it? Da, 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 let's see, who else is? You're not these are human sized frogs. You remember the human sized hand on the ship? Uh, yeah. Bodger. 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 Bodger's, Bodger's fairly close to the lake, so they are going to go for you. What's your armor class, please? My armor class is 13. 13, and they got an A16, so that's going to hit you as well. So another one jumps out of the water. Oh, oh. Looks like it's up to old Greg. <laughs> and, oh, oh. Does you. All right. This is not uh, turning out good. Two. They are going to go now, and you see a gigantic frog oh, up onto the shore. Mother of God. <laughs> this thing's the size of a large yeah. dog. So there's like frog men and this is like a yes. little frog. Like those are those frog. are humanoid frogs, frog headed, yep. uh, but they are wearing hide armor um, and and carrying small weapons. Okay. Are they pretty small or short? Uh, yeah, about yay big, yeah. Okay. They have like old froggy. Big, big frog. frogs like a big dog. Big dog, big dog. dog. Good boy. Frog proportions. Good boy, come here, boy. Alright, that's the end of the baddies' turns. Uh, who's that? Baradoon, you're up. Oh, well, he's put me in a net, so I'm going to assume he's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, is, how, how restricted am I? So restrained means that you have you can still do your attacks and things, but you're at disadvantage if you're trying to attack. Okay. Um, and and because he's holding, he, well, he's dropped it on you, landed, boosh, probably on this other side, and he's grabbed the hold of the net again, so you're considered grappled as well. So uh, you're right. Okay, okay. Before we get any further, let me just say it's nice to see that there's literally you guys are so into this right now with me. Because there's literally no typing, and I love that. You guys are like totally immersed in this. Able to, unable to move unless you break that grapple. Um, so would you can, shocking grasp break that? You can grapple. reach through one of the uh, net, netting and, and uh, shock this frogman if you want. I'm, I'm we already watched these. I will, I will say that because he's covered it. in water, you have advantage on the attack. Unlimited power! So roll a d20, roll it twice, take the higher of the two numbers. Two. Let's do better. Get out of the net. They're all in nets. Great I'm going to smash this toad man froggy person in the face with my hammer. Oh my goodness, what a cliffhanger. Do you want to watch another episode? They are over here. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe. If you've subscribed to the other YouTube page, it, it doesn't automatically transfer over here. You need to subscribe Same again. Bad style. Like Have a thing. good day, bro. New page, totally different. Listen. Keep watching. All right. I'm still in. I'm still in. They're doing a wonderful job. The dungeon master seems like he stepped up his game a little bit. Uh, the guys are starting to learn kind of the the rhythm of, of how to play the game. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure if they've ever played before. I think somebody may have answered that. I asked that on the last one, and I think some of the commenters said that some have played Dungeons and Dragons before. I'm not sure if all of them have, uh, but it seems like we're getting a rhythm right now. So I'm down for watching episode three. I'm going to start releasing these on Sunday, maybe Monday. So like, if you guys are interested in this on the YouTube channel, I'm going to do all the episodes. I think it's very fun. It reminds me of when I was a kid. Uh, it reminds me of time with my father. And uh, I definitely love that Viva La Dirt League is, are doing this. And you guys found it. So thanks very much for finding it, guys. Let's get back to the show. 